Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your tarot card reading for March 2023. This is a general reading. So the roles of the individuals or energies identified may be swapped and the intensity of the situation may vary. Feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others, whatever does not. At the end of the reading, I will be pulling some oracle cards to provide guidance and answer any questions that you have. So in this first column, we find out what seeks your attention. You have choosing your path, all is possible. You also have queen of wands, two of swords, and the hanged one. In this second column, we explore an important relationship. You have tree ancestry. You also have ace of pentacles, page of swords, and two of cups. In this third column, we dive into your work. You have this hourglass card. You also have nine of wands, ten of cups, and the strength card. So at the bottom of the deck, the temperance card. This is the influencing energy of the reading. So with temperance here, you have this shape-shifting uh, mermaid slash bird creature who basically is using a little bit of that and a little bit of this to create something something new um, taking some attention time and uh, focus to basically figure out what it is or create what it is that they want for their future so it seems that there is a, a choice for you to make that seeks your attention here. And all is possible. It's, you have here the two of swords. So this is an indication of you not making a choice, possibly um, being afraid to make a choice, being wrong about making a certain choice. You also have the hanged one here, and that is a sense of you know delay sacrifice and needing to see things from a different perspective you also have the queen of wands here which is you know all about really following your heart your passions um, also a sense of being a loyal friend and kind of drawing attention to yourself not necessarily because you are seeking attention but because you are really pursuing what it is that your heart desires and other people see you doing that and kind of want to be um, in your presence so let's take a look at some cards to clarify here so virgo if you are making a decision or need to make a decision it's almost with this you know, choose your path, all is possible. It's as if the way you're looking at whatever decision you need to make, um, you need to see it in a different way. Uh, it's almost as if there's no real consequence whichever way you go. Uh, or you'll gain from either path. So let's take a look at this Two of Swords. You have the Nine of Cups. So here, if you are kind of more looking at uh, a sense of what you've been able to accomplish in life so far, your environment, um, and come from a place of doing what you want, focusing on yourself for a bit, how you want to be treated, um, how you want to treat yourself, how you want others to treat you, and then making a decision from that place. So let's take a look at this hanged one. 
you have the five of cups. So it may be that you are kind of looking at something from your past where you've had a loss, some disappointment. Maybe you made a decision that you were kind of confident about and it ended up going in a direction that um, ultimately you felt bummed out and kind of don't want to be in a position where you make a decision where you have that kind of feeling again. But it's it's a sense of, you know, take a look at that, see things from a different perspective of learning and growing. Um, and then just make that decision of which path to go. So let's see about this Queen of Wands. You have here the Magician. So recognizing your talent, your resources, the skills that you have, being aware of the environment and, you know, being confident that you can create whatever it is that you you want and you'll receive whatever it is you need in that process. Um, this is also a card of um, communication and being honest with yourself about what it is that you do want and what you can accomplish. So let's take a look at an important relationship here. Here's this uh, shirt says family reunion on it. And it says honoring our roots down here. So it may be that there's uh, an important relationship within your family that needs your, um, that needs your attention, you're dealing with that right now. Or it could be that something that, you know, your family has dealt with or you've experienced is kind of showing up in your life. Um, you know, perhaps you have, um, you've inherited a certain um, avoidance um, habit that one of your parents kind of has and you learned from them. Or perhaps you're someone who is very talkative and you uh, that's something that you learned from one of your family members. So here it's kind of a sense of uh, recognizing how your your family has influenced things or you will help you kind of see what's going on here. You do have the two of cups and that is a card of, you know, love, a connection, um, recognizing, you know, being on the same page and really want to have a sense of reciprocity with someone. You have the Ace of Pentacles, and here's an, an opportunity for something new, uh, investing in something in new, something new. Perhaps this is a, you know, a new relationship. And you have the Page of Swords. So here, this is a concept of like a new idea and embracing it. Um, if you kind of rush into something, you might uh, trip and fall, not see everything too clearly, but a sense of studying, studying it, figuring out what to invest into it. So let's do some clarifications here. Let's look at this Two of Cups. You have the Two of Swords. Um, you have the Two of Swords over here. So there is some kind of decision that you need to make or maybe how you even d make decisions is influenced by um, your your family, your roots, your ancestors. So let's take a look at the Page of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So um, it's almost a sense of recognizing, again, your worth um, what you've accomplished so far, um, you know, the connections that you've been able to make um, and kind of see how how you deserve to enjoy your your life and how it's almost a sense of like you are in a great place and the people that you are connecting with, um, there's a certain standard that you should hold for them. Uh, that you hold for yourself and kind of like it may be that you have a sense of you know giving everyone a chance and everyone should um, have that opportunity to like you know win your heart to be a partner to you um, but it's almost a sense of you know be a little 
more uh, picky, choosy, um, discern discern what is good for you and almost like raise your standards. So let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Swords. Um, and here you can see these raccoons diving into the trash can, getting someone's, you know, tossed out trash and, uh, you know, playing with it. They might not know how, but they're going to try because they're, um, they're curious. They are not necessarily, they're kind of trickstery. They're kind of getting get into things. Um, it's almost making me feel like that bad boy kind of vibe like same with the page of swords someone who is uh, slightly immature um, really is doing something different um, so here you know it could be to some degree um, this is usually the liar stealer cheater card I don't necessarily get that vibe of that's who you're dealing with right now it may be um, so that's something you need to decide if, you know, if you want to create something new with someone who is, uh, you know, digging into someone else's, someone else's trash. And I get that, you know, there's that concept of one person's trash is another person's treasure. And it's not to say that just because someone was like, you know, had their heart broken by someone else that's necessarily considering them trash. It's a sense of you need to recognize what what trash is not something you want to get into. Um, what baggage you don't want to deal with. What um, immaturity you don't want to deal with. And a sense of recognizing your worth and having people who really deserve to be with you um that's kind of the sense that i'm getting there so here with this hourglass card um about your work this is kind of a card of like time is running out make the most of the time that that you have um you know kind of ask those questions are you satisfied are you happy are you challenged enough um, you have here the Nine of Wands, and you can see this dragon who is protecting their mound of treasure. So to some degree, it may feel like you are working just to protect exactly what you have. Uh, you have here the the Ten of Cups, and this is a sense of, you know, a happy home life, a happy um, community that you get to share your ups and downs with. And you have this this Strength card here. Um, where, you know, there's, if you struggle against something that, um, you know, just to push your way through, you might come out like more injured as opposed to just, um, you know, allowing yourself to be gentle in a situation to get some help from someone else possibly. Um, so Let's figure out what's going on with this strength card. You have the Ace of Pentacles again. So, you know, perhaps there is a need for you to kind of uh, consider a, a new job, a new way of getting income. Um, perhaps there is something you've been wanting to do or setting up and you just think you are kind of like, um, forcing your way through as opposed to, you know, a more gentle approach, um, kind of accepting your limitations and looking at things from that perspective. Let's take a look at the nine of wands over here. You have the two of cups again. Hmm. So you have the two of cups here, two of cups here, ace of pentacles here, ace of pentacles here. Um, you know, for some of you, perhaps there is a, a work romance popping up, but, or it could be that your, um, your dating life is affecting how you pursue your, your 
job. Maybe it's making it so that you, um, you know, are staying where you are because you want to spend more time um, with a particular person. So don't want to put um, effort in doing your job better or looking for a different job. And that's absolutely your choice. So let's see about the Ten of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is a card of work. Um, this is an orb weaver here. And, you know, every day they make a new web. And it might be the same task. It might seem uh, daunting, but really they take pride in it. And it helps them to be more efficient. Um, so this is kind of having you take a look at again uh choices that you're making you know this way or that way and it does seem that focusing on your your talent your skills the things that can make you that magician and really harness that queen of wands energy is going to um really be uh key to you reaching this ten of cups position in in your life so I'm going to close off with a couple of Oracle cards. First, I'm going to pull a card from the Revolving Time Oracle to answer a question. It can be a yes or no question. You can ask who, what, when, or why. And we have this uh, card of curiosity, card number 44. It is the um, equivalent to this page of swords here. If you're asking for a decisive answer, the answer is yes. For timing, you have winter season. In terms of who, you have the element of air, and that would apply to those with the sign of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And if you asked about why, then, you know, curiosity, looking into something, um, pulling more layers back and see what's what's really there and here for guidance I'm going to pull a card from the spirit of the animals oracle you have here dragon supernatural you are the ancient wise sage you can shape shift at will mastery is your destiny rise with dignity so there's that concept of like like rising, raising your standard and kind of you can be whatever it is that you want and you are the pretty much um, the magician um, making, making your time here on earth count and really whatever decision that you make, you are creating your, your destiny and all is possible. So, Virgo, I hope this reading provides a helpful perspective of your month. We'll see you next time. Take care.